When gear comes in to review, my whole studio just turns into a complete mess. I, I feel like it's just time for a complete change here. I mean, gear, I'm so sick of gear. Really, what I'm thinking about doing right now is taking this OLED, my awesome OLED out here in the living room and putting it in the studio and making it, you know, like a little theater room situation. But how am I supposed to do that when there's just gear on the floor at all times, just, you know, boxes and boxes of gear. And look at this complete disaster over here. Canon C70, we've got X-T3, we've got these Canon lenses I was gonna try out for fun. You know, the 51.2 over here. I just, it just, it's too much. Yeah, so I, I was gonna review this C70 here. You know, nice camera. Good camera, it's exciting, it has a raw update, so I thought I would test it against the Komodo. But right now my brain is just in a different mode. I care about filmmaking right now. I care about narrative, the storytelling, making a movie, and gear is so far down on my list. What's up, Kiki? Actually, my goal right now is to make another short film, and I've been trying to get the funding together, the crew together, all the stuff in place to do it. And that's all I'm thinking about right now is how to make this short film. It's very ambitious. It's like basically a mini movie. It's probably only gonna be about 20 minutes long, but there's a lot of characters and locations and visual effects. And it's gonna be way more of an undertaking than anything I've done before. And while reviewing gear and being on set, I just, the gear starts to overwhelm me. And that's when I decided maybe I should just sell it all to fund this film. And you're probably thinking, Spencer, that's crazy, don't do that. You're a cinematographer, you're a content creator, you need a camera. And you might be right about that, but right now, what is my priority? It's to make movies and make this film. I can always buy another camera. I mean, the reality is, look at these cameras, they're all good now. I wanted to review the C70 and I just feel like it doesn't matter. I'm shooting on a Fujifilm F X-H2S right now, it's great. It's good, it has a good image. You've probably heard this tantrum before, but right now it's really coming into fruition to me as I'm trying to fund this film and create it. Create a pro passion project, something that I wanna make and I can be really proud of and really help take the next level in my career from a narrative filmmaking perspective. But speaking of jobs, I need to go to a shoot right now, which we're actually shooting on six red Komodos and like a red V-Raptor. Really fun, and it makes me definitely not want to sell my Komodo, but it's still something that might be going on the market soon. Pocket 6K. What does he not have? Oh, what kind right. of camera do you have? Man, I have an FX3 and an FX9. Are they good cameras? I love them. I love them. Do you love your Pocket 6K? I do like it quite a bit. Uh, just Fujifilm. <laughs> Only Fujifilm. You're lying. No, I don't. I'm not lying. My, you mean my Fujifilm cinema camera? Yeah, sure can. What kind of camera do you have? I have a Sony FX6. All cameras are good. All of them are good. Spencer says all of them are good. Whatever you heard before was not true. So, they're all good. This, this one's good. Let me in.
bit rusty. So a little bit about the film. It's kind of a sci-fi thriller with this kind of horror-esque suspense built into it. Um, you really don't know what it is until you get to the end of the film, so I can't really talk about it too much because it's not necessarily a twist ending, but I want you to be engaged the whole time and want to know what happens next. So like I said, I wanted to write something that felt more like a movie, not necessarily like a, a moody art piece per se, something that felt entertaining and kept you engaged the whole time. And I'm really excited to dive into this and try this out and make something like that for the first time. And this will be the first project that I'm not going to deep EP myself. I'm actually bringing in a new friend, John at Carrington. He's going to bring his Sony Venice to shoot the film, and I'm really excited to see how that works out and letting go of some of that control and letting someone else take the reins on that. So I am a cinematographer first, but now that I'm transitioning out of that, caring less about gear, caring less about the cinematography and more about the story and making films, it'll be exciting to collaborate with someone like that. Does anyone else pace when they're on the phone or is that just me? So that's what's about to happen. I'm going to sell my lenses, my Fuji camera, maybe even my red Komodo to fund this film because to me, I think it's worth it. And maybe if you wanna help out, I'm not here to ask you for money necessarily like that. I might be doing like an Indiegogo or something if I can't get full funding for it. Um, you know, if you guys wanna support that, you can. And But if you do wanna to donate to the film, I put a link in the description below that connects to my website. You can go donate there if you want, which helps me segue to today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all one platform to present your work online. And using Squarespace, I was able to build my whole website to show off my cinematography work and my film work. But it also made it super easy for me to add this donation link to my page because they have so many customizable tools like that already built into the platform. I could just go on there, add the donation link, put in my information that I want there, you know, the value amounts that someone could donate to the page. And it was just super easy to do that. Of course, if you want to build a website as a portfolio, you can add videos and photos on there and rearrange them however you want. You can embed them from YouTube or Vimeo or anything like that. So if you're looking to build a website right now, you can just do that with Squarespace. Click the link in the description to get 10% off. And I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And I appreciate you listening to these sponsor reads because it's because of those sponsors that I'll probably be able to make this film and make my dream film come true. So thank you for bearing with me when it comes to sponsorships on this channel. Well, I'll keep you updated on the film and we'll discuss more about that later. But until next time, guys, I'm Spencer Sakurai. See ya.